<laughs> Squirrel. Yeah, deer. <laughs> you guys are going to grab soft ear probe, hard ear probe, goggles, or just blind, okay? Only, only the shooters are going to need a uh, eye probe. So yeah. we're not going to have AGs up there. It's a single person, right? Mm -hmm. The two forties are supposed to have AGs. So two forties will have a first to that. Yeah, it's, they're all a little bit different, but yeah, there's a clip right there, and one on this side. This is uh, instead of an F and an S for safe, you've got the uh, color code right here. Gotcha. Uh, um, I'll show you how to load it up and all that good stuff. I'll be staying on this side of you though, okay. so but I'll be helping you. Okay. Cool. You got. Uh, we need. Let me get you another set. <laughs> Tom Brock. Is there a bag with extra headsets? Uh, yeah. I, I got a couple of Tom Brock. Yep. Send it back forward. Aim and then fire. Those tanks are 400, so put it at that 400 meter mark and you'll be hitting them, okay? Yeah, track it, keep tracking over to the right. You see it over there? The tank. And the black dirt is with you. Whoa! It's shaped like a car. 200 meters, tank's 450. The big metal. Oh, that! Yeah! That! Yeah, shoot that! Okay. Don't worry about the green target. Alright, go ahead, track it back. Clear it up. Weapon on safe. All right. Oh, say hello to my little husband. After I move this. After, after, after I clear out his face real quick. How you guys want to do it? What load is that? Full? Yeah, yeah. Am I at there you go. Look through it, make sure it's clear, watch your hands. Good job. Good hit, man. Hey, you hit it. A little bit low that time.
So today we're firing the defenders from the 374 Security Forces Squadron for qualification on the 240 Bravo and the 249. The purpose is for initial and recurring firing for these defenders. Some came straight out of tech school and did not get to utilize this weapon system. So they came to their first base, which would be here at Yokota, to qualify on this weapon system for base defense or pre-deployment training. So we provide outside training here at Camp Fuji because it's more realistic. They can actually see key terrain and actually fire at more of a distance than on an indoor range where it's limited. Uh, the most challenging thing for coming out here to Camp Fuji is it's actually owned and operated by the Marine Corps. So we have to plan and schedule through them instead of a typical Air Force range. The defenders had a helo ride from Yokota out here to the range. Then once they came to the range, they set up, prepared, and started doing live fire. They had fun going to the helo ride to this range because it's not usually something that happens. Uh, usually they drive up here, but for the helicopters to drop over here and drop them off while conducting live fire at the same time, it was pretty interesting. I feel pretty good. I'm honestly excited to be out here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nice weather, so we're going to go ahead and shoot off these rounds and have a great time.